Now, 4WARN Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, and Kim is back to dig into a little bit of a soggy seven day forecast. A little bit, but we'll also get some breaks. So it's okay. not going to be pouring down rain every single day, but we do have a chance of rain pretty much every day except Saturday. All so right we'll talk about that so timing. Good timing. Yep. We've got mostly cloudy skies out there right now. There are a couple of light rain showers, but it is dry downtown 67 degrees. Adrian just popped up to 70. The rest of Metro Detroit spending this afternoon in the low 60s. So here's a look at the rain chances and you can see that we do have a chance for scattered showers, but the key word there is scattered. And then Saturday we've removed the chance for showers. It looks like definitely the better of the two days, but the rainiest day this week does look to be Sunday. So if you have things you want to get done outside this weekend, do them Saturday as opposed to Sunday. We've got a couple scattered showers out there right now, especially in parts of Oakland and Macomb counties. It's raining now in Rochester Hills. Couple sprinkles in Troy, Utica, Sterling Heights, Macomb, Chesterfield, and Mount Clemens all getting just some very light rain showers. And that's all we expect as we go through the evening hours, just these spotty light rain showers. Now we've got to talk about what's going to happen over the next 24 hours. Well, we'll get a little rain tomorrow to clear out in the afternoon, but starting the day with a few showers. But watch what happens as we head into the early to mid afternoon just becomes mostly cloudy. Might even get a couple breaks of late day sun before the next round of showers comes in tomorrow night. 61 right now in Pontiac, 62 in Mount Clemens, upper 60s out at City Airport. Right now it is in the 70s down to our south Pittsburgh, Columbus and also Indianapolis, St. Louis all checking in in the 70s, but cooler up to the north. Now we are going to be well above normal for two days tomorrow and Friday. We get back into the 70s should be in the 50s, but watch what happens for the second half of the weekend. Cold air settles in and it's going to be a very cold Halloween. We've dropped the temperature now to 38 degrees. Does look like it will be dry, which will make a difference. The rain at this point and possibly even a wintry mix overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday. But at this point, trick or treating does look dry and cold. You've probably noticed those leaves have really started to turn. Believe it or not, next week will be at almost past peak and certainly past peak for the second week in November. Your forecast for tonight, 59 degrees, a couple scattered showers here and there, but not a huge washout for us then tomorrow. We'll have mostly cloudy skies, a few showers in the morning and then a break and then more rain comes in later in the day. But boy, is it mild for a couple of days and then that's it. And I don't know for how long because this time of year it doesn't look right. good. So that might be the last time for 70s uh, next week. Look at that 42 Ooh. for the high both Tuesday and Wednesday 29 Wednesday morning. Anything that falls could fall as frozen. Wow, I know November comes and, and it's 70. Here we go. Right. I know. All right. Thanks, Kim.